right guys so i did the unboxing of this and i guess my camera was full and it didn't record me taking the stuff out the box so there is only five pieces it does come with hardware um as you can see on the box here you see each side so it's about one two three four five like it shows and then i did say that there's five and they don't they do not have the pieces on there showing which letter each panel is so i was distinguishing which panel it was by actually showing you by following the illustration so on it, the illustration it shows you here it tells you on the directions because i want to show people because i know sometimes they do not have directions so this is telling you how to lock the cam lock step by step telling you to not put it on the shaded area or which one is the shaded and which one is not the shaded area and how you are supposed to do it and then this is panel c they were telling you about panel c and then they were stacking up each panel i guess just to check to see which panel is what just to check it and stack it up to know which one's a b c and d and then you also have panel d as well so you're distinguishing which panel is which. Um, then you take each panel once you did. They show you which one is which. So you can look at the illustrations and see. Okay, well this doesn't have any holes here. This has holes here. This one has a hole here. So that's B. This has a hole here and here. Then that's E. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm not going to stack them up together. I'm just going to lay out my pieces, you know, make sure I have everything, which is only five pieces and some hardware, and then lay them all out, distinguish which one is which, and put them together. Okay, so I have my other piece on the other side here, the fifth piece. So now I'm about to put the cam locks in each big hole. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the cam locks in each big hole. I'm going to try to fix number five over here. Somewhere where we can get a good camera angle and see what we're doing here. Okay. So now I'm going to just put the cam locks in and then I'm going to do the wooding down. And then so the side that the hole is on, you want to have this open part right there. So I'm going to do that going in that way. Because you're going to turn it and lock it in place once you have the pieces that are supposed to go there together. The pieces that are supposed to connect together. So I'm going to finish doing that. Where all the big holes are. And we want to have the open end where the hole is at. I'll show you again. This is the big open part to the cam lock and this is where the hole is at. And so you want to Put it in that way. Okay. And if you happen to put it in the wrong way, it's okay. Because you can screw it to the side that you need it to go to. It may be a little hard to kind of see where the opening is at. But you can always look through here and see if it's turned as well. I'm going to finish putting all my camera locks in. Thank 
camera. Then on the hole. In the hole. So we only want to put the wooden dowels in on certain sides. So that is going to be on the part towards this way. So for right here, for this one, you see there's two holes, but we're going to put it in on the ends. So one goes here. And then one goes here. I'm gonna put it in on the insides instead of the outer. So So this one's gonna go for this one with that has the four um, where you put the four locks in, cam locks in. These are going to go on the inner side here, inside, instead of the out part. Okay, here, the inward part there. And then when we go to the side, we're going to go to the end. So the part that has these holes here, we're going to go and put it in the outside and then put it in the middle. Outside part on this end and on the other end. Then in the middle, just put one right there. Okay, doesn't have to go all the way in. And then they also have holes on the other end as well. But I don't see the inner locks in there. Okay, yeah, we do. And so we do have them going on the inside as well, on the other end. The same as the other end. Because it shows you on here as well, and then it shows you on here, but only certain sides are shown because this is showing the cam locks and pretty much letting you know where you're going to attach them to the panels. Okay, and then we're going to take our other piece right here, and this one has two. Well, this is kind of like the same as this one, just one on the other side. And so, let's see. This one was the one that went on the outside. And this also goes on the outside as well. So, just on the outside. So, it's really like, because there's two holes. One hole is bigger and one is smaller. So, they're really going in like the smaller holes. Just a little tip. And, and there's nothing on this end. So then there's nothing that goes. There's no more wood panels that go. Anywhere else. So that one must be. So they're only going to the four panels. Not all five. Because there's one down here. Where it doesn't go. So. Okay, guys, I hope you guys can see I am doing a step by step and I'm hoping that this is helping everyone. I am in a hallway right now because this is going in my son's room and they were in there at the time playing. So I didn't want to be in the way while they were playing. So I came here and things like that. So here we go. Now we're going to do the metal dowels to the panels. We're going to put those in there, attach those. And that is these pieces here. 
So we're going to take these pieces. And it shows you exactly how to do it because you don't want to have it sticking out and poking out. So we're going to get to that now. And so where's the one with the two pieces? So I have... Okay, so all my pieces are here. So we have this piece, then we have this piece, and then the last piece that we're going to be putting those is right here. So we have this one as well. So I have my screwdriver, and I'm going to show you. This is the directions I'm looking at right now, and I am about to put them in there. So. For this one, what I like to do is I like to line it up just like how the picture is so that I can know exactly where to start. So, I'm going to put this here on the same side because it's on the same side. as. Um, so, I'm just going to slightly put them in right now. And so the ones that are closer to the end here goes here. So I'm just looking at the illustration right now. And then the one, there's another one that goes. other end here I'm going to show you where I put each one at so that you can see it each one on the end and then we want to put one in the middle here and then one over here the illustration may look a little different so here we go guys so we have this side here, and so we put it on this side on the end. Then we took it for this one where the two holes are each on each side, we put them on the ends. And then here we put one in the middle because there was only one in the middle there, and then we put it on the outside. So pretty much they all are like on the outside. And then we're going to do the same thing for this one as well. They're all going to go on the outside part. Each one is, is going to go on the outside. One in the middle there on the outside. So this will be considered the inside. So the outside, outside, and then outside, outside. So it's the same on each side. And that's what I'm about to do now. And then I'm going to screw them in once I get to that part. But I also want to do the last part as well. So outside, I mean the third version as well. And then another way to distinguish it as well is to look for the smaller holes. So there's one big hole and then there's one smaller hole. So the ones that have the smaller hole is the one that it's going inside. And the same with the other panel, the third one, they all look like they are on, there's some that's in, on the inside and some on the outside, but if I show you, you'll see the difference as far as it being the smaller hole and the bigger hole, so you want to put them in the smaller hole. So you have your small holes here and the big holes there. So I'm gonna put them all in the smaller holes. So that's a way to distinguish the difference so that you can know which hole to put them in. So that's what I'm doing now. And I did put it in the middle, did they? No. So they didn't put it in the middle because the middle doesn't, it's not considered a small hole. So they didn't put it there. Okay, so we need one more. 
And another thing, like sometimes they give you extra pieces, but uh, usually there's just enough. But I do like when they give you extra. So I am about to screw those. And now on each panel. I'm gonna screw it down. And go from there. So I'm just screwing each one of them that I just put in there and going from there. Be careful of the wood because it may be, you don't want to put extra holes in there. <laughs> That one's done. Okay, I'm doing that now. Come back. Okay, so I'm screwing that last one in on the last panel. Okay. Now we are about to get them attached. So, this is when you need to really know. This is, it helps when you know which, like, so once you have each panel distinguished by letter, then what you wanna do is connect them. So now they're telling us to connect, attach E to A. Now from the picture, we see the four cam locks on that one, and we see the two on this one here. So as you can see from like the picture, we have the two here. And then we have the three on the top here, okay? Then we're going to sit that up there. Take the ones with the four cam locks and we want to make sure we're putting it on each side on the right side. So what's happening is the extra hole that you have here, these are going inside of there. So it's gonna go right in here. So we're gonna place that. I'm gonna try to put the camera where you can see. And we're going to place it inside of there. And then that wooden part is gonna go on where the hole is at right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do it. And then that's where we're gonna have it attached, okay? So we we'll go there, there. Then we wanna go here, here, okay? Make sure the hole is aligned properly. And we wanna also make sure we have it on the right sides. You know, make sure we get that in there. Sometimes I like to do it like this. But we wanna make sure we got the cam lock right too because if we don't have that cam lock in there right, it's not gonna go all the way in there. So, so you wanna make sure when you connect it that the shaded part is up and you have the other shaded part on this end. So, shade it going upward. Now I'm gonna do the other side. And we're gonna attach 
D. Panel D is the one that has the six holes. So we want to check panel D and it has the six holes. That's the one that has the sticker, the warning sticker on there. That has the six holes. So we want to put that one on the back. So this one the one that's going to be on the back. So we want to put this one and turn it where the shaded part is going to the side. Well, the shaded part is on both sides, but as you can see, the sticker is here. And these things are going upward where you can see the, um, the cam locks. So the picture shows how the cam locks, you can see the cam locks at the top so that you can screw it. Um, and then you also have some screws right here where you're going to put some screws in in the back so with that being said we are going to keep the tag on the back flip it over okay put it this way one like this I'm trying to show y'all how to, how to make sure i got it where you can see okay and then we're gonna put the lock put it in because you can see the holes right there that glide and push it on in there. Now, if the cam lock is not in there right, it's not gonna go in there. So I wanna make sure the cam lock is correct. So we got that um, and we're going to lock it by going right here yeah, we're going to right that's how we lock it in so then we want to get these other two screws which i think is a few of them i think it's only two of them i'm trying to get it where you can okay so we got that we're getting the two pieces i'm gonna make sure we get the right ones okay Okie dokie. So we have our two screws here. What we're going to do is put them at the bottom one. There's a top hole and a bottom hole. We want to put it in the bottom holes on each side. And we want to screw it in. Okay guys, so we are ready for the next part and that is going to consist of us taking part B and putting that there and then we all um, have to put our last piece on after that. So, we're going to get this piece which is our B piece. And we want to take it and you want to slide it in there because the last piece goes on top once we set it up. So you want to take it and align it, put the holes in properly where they belong. And you want to make sure that your cam lock is also in the right position because that will prevent from going in the holes the way it's supposed to. And also make sure that it's aligned. Flip 
filled up by that. So that's locking it. So this is opening. you have to make sure it's aligned but once you get it in there then you want to tighten it and that's going right no it's not the very next one what am I doing I don't want to mess that one up I guess that will open again okay Tightening that part, tightening all three of those are tightening, and then what else did we connect on the sides? I'm gonna lift it up. We're gonna put the top on. I lift it up now. We're gonna put the top piece on, and then we are done. You can mount it to the wall. We're gonna screw the locks in there and then you can nail it to the wall and then you'll be done after you place this on here and tighten the cam locks that's on the inside and on the ends so make sure your cam locks are open push it on there Make sure. Make sure. Okay. So, all ends. Okay. And now we're going to tighten the cam locks. And that is it. Finished product. I'm not going to be drilling it to the wall because the other one we had did just fine. We did not have to drill it to the wall. This is the finished product of this. And it's a lot smaller than the other one but that's because I wouldn't have been able to get the other one in white so I had to get this one and so you can see the inside as well